ಓಂಭೂರ್ಭುವಸ್ಸುಹಂ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯ ಧೀಮಹಿ ಧಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನಃ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾಂಧ Namaste everyone. Today we are going to speak about Kriya Yoga meditation. Well, um that's the most ancient meditation system and we have um um huge number of ancient scriptures and they already mention about um like Kriya Yoga meditation or types of meditation which are very close to the Kriya Yoga. and of course that's bhagavad gita that is yoga sutra written by sage patanjali and um, vijnan bhairav tantra and number of um, other scriptures as well uh, both um, you know, like sanskrit tradition and tamil tradition and uh, today uh, i'm going to discuss the question um, uh, which is uh, must we try to learn and practice you know all kriya yoga techniques or at least as many as possible or maybe concentrate on one or two techniques um and the same uh, question is regarding mantras must we learn and practice huge number of mantras or maybe okay one is enough and um my approach is that you know any choice is good because we are all different and it means there is no any question that you know this is only the way nothing like that really exists we are all different we are all different because of many reasons because okay lord god um, created us in a different way with a different qualities with the different vibrations and also we uh, each and every one of us we are on a, on a different steps and stages of evolution so it means we are all different and um, you know somebody for example uh, focus his or her mind only on one tradition one spiritual school but many people uh, like synthesis why not just look around so many not only westerners but also modern indians uh, enjoy synthesis um, like you know this is uh, hindu tantra this is buddhist tantra um, sufi tradition um, esoteric christianity uh, taoist techniques different ways of meditation kabbalah etc so it means there is no any one and only answer because everything is personal yeah uh, sometimes people like to say that the truth is one come on come on um if you say that the truth is one it's very dangerous because the next step you will say that only you know this truth this is the problem and i prefer to uh believe that the truth is very much personal kind of thing personal phenomenon there is no any global truth but there is personal truth uh, at least i that's my choice that's the reason why uh if we speak about personal truth uh, not universal truth then we can let different people each and, and everyone to enjoy his or her personal spiritual pathway so it means like okay if you wish to follow only one guru welcome one spiritual tradition welcome one kind of religion welcome but so what if somebody wish to combine different kinds of meditation philosophy and um, uh, what can we do with this must we say that this is totally wrong i don't think so i mean to say that yeah that's very much personal the same actually with the, the question uh, how many techniques of meditation kriya yoga meditation must we learn and practice okay in some kriya yoga schools and traditions we have um, just a few techniques or oh, lucky one 
but in some schools and traditions it's like huge number of different meditation techniques what to do it must be a personal choice it must be a personal choice because all different approaches are right you have to to feel to understand what is right for you for example i i enjoy my, uh, myself like you know huge number of meditation techniques very happy to practice huge number of techniques just enjoy it but for some people much better to choose one and just dive into that concentrate on on that the same with the mantras for example in our tradition of Kriya Yoga to which I belong and uh, um, okay, I'm practicing and teaching people Kriya Yoga meditation and Bija Mantra tradition. We have a huge number of Bija Mantras and, uh, and, and I enjoy, you know, every day a huge number of Mantras. Uh, but for some people it's better to choose one. No, there is no any absolute answer for that. And of course, huge question is, what is the purpose? What is the purpose of your meditation? It can be Kriya Yoga, it can be Mantra meditation, or any other type of meditation. What is the purpose? That's also very much personal kind of question. Some people wish to improve health. And meditation is very helpful some people use meditation as a stress and depression management that's very helpful some people wish to enjoy some mystical experiences you know subtle dimensions some people wish to purify chakras so many reasons why we learn and practice meditation and uh, mantras the top level uh, for the meditation of Kriya Yoga and uh, for mantra yoga meditation as well is absolutely like absence of any any reason for the meditation when you lose any any reason why you are meditating if you're just enjoying it not because you wish to improve your health mental capacity or achieve so-called enlightenment but just if you're so relaxed that you're just enjoying the process and you're practicing all that because that's joy, bliss, happiness then only you can really experience meditation you know it's like people practice mantras and prayers Hindu prayer, Buddhist prayer Christian, Jewish, Muslim prayer okay why people pray to God there are many reasons why for healing for better job you know to get married you know to improve financial climate in your pocket there are many reasons why people pray to God and you know like this mantra for this purpose the, that mantra for that purpose this mantra for good health and healing that mantra for better uh, better money but in the Bhagavad Gita we have clear instruction that you know, the most pure form of devotion is actually how to describe it I mean divinely meaningless <laughs> absence of any purpose um, because you you practice mantra because of love 
and pure devotion when you actually asking nothing from the Lord from this universe and you you keep on repeating keep on practicing mantras or prayers because of joy itself no goal this is the top level for the meditation and for the mantra mantra meditation prayer meditation because actually everything is meditation tell me what is not meditation what is not meditation and of course that's not only Kriya Yoga techniques though they are great and uh, when we when we practice mantras or prayers that's also meditation actually whatever Hatha Yoga is meditation you know it's like in a Buddhist tradition they they use even you know tea party as meditation any kind of activity can be meditation and when we practice that meditation I mean any kind of activity even you know mindfulness what is the purpose it's okay to enjoy a certain purpose in the beginning but then then just pure joy and then only meditation may happen Okay, let us complete this video for today. Of course, I invite you to watch my videos on Kriya Yoga, Bija Mantras. Of course, a lot of videos about Prama Sai and Next Incarnation of the Lord. And with um, videos with my personal memories about Satya Sai. Okay, God bless you. See you next time. Suvahantatsavituruvarinyam bharago devasya nimahi diyo yonak prachodayantam